Welcome back to this channel. This tutorial comes from Elizabeth's blog, Studio E, and with her blessing, I've made it into a video tutorial using her own words, as I've done before. Some people prefer to listen to instructions as they look at the images. In this tutorial, you'll be seeing how Elizabeth made two types of Christmas stockings, including the fancy pointed toe. Watch to the end to find out how to enter for a giveaway. This project starts off with Dollarama Puffy Christmas Stocking Stickers. Each package contains 16 stickers. Seeing that the stickers looked far too shiny, Elizabeth thought of covering them with fabric to make them more usable. This first one is using the longest and simplest sock sticker in the package. Here a nice weight silk tie was used to cover the sticker. Elizabeth used a permanent clear adhesive designed for fabrics. This glue doesn't bleed through fabrics when allowed to get tacky, but you still need to be careful with that. Also, fabric tack is good, although it is a bit more expensive. You can find it at Walmart or Michaels. Allow generous amount of fabric all around as you see here. Now make small cuts from the outside in towards the sticker, leaving about one eighth of an inch around. Add glue along the edge of the fabric, starting with the foot, and work up to the top. Then pull fabric up around the foot to the back. This takes a bit of time and can be messy. Cut away excess fabric, but don't cut off too much. Make sure the front is good. Keep pulling the fabric taut at the back. Make sure fabric is smooth all around the foam. So keep pulling it until it is. Also, as you pull, make sure the fabric doesn't twist or become distorted. If there is a pattern, it is most important. After the foot, work up to the leg trimming away excess fabric as you go. Here you see the one side of the leg is folded over and then overlapped and glued the opposite long flap onto it. Here it is covered in fabric. Remove the foam inside the top of the sticker. Tweezers is best or needle nose pliers. This is to give the stocking a sense of depth or make it look hollow about half inch. The cavity is now ready to insert presents or whatever goodies you want to put in there. This is the fun part. If you want to hang, sew or glue a loop to the top of the sock before adding decorations and trim. Here, twisted cord was glued around the perimeter and a cuff of grain ribbon around the top with some lace trim overlay. This one is very romantic. Victorian look. Metal nail decals. Decorate this one along with some sticky cameo decals. A few more additions and done. Here are some more done with old cotton tea towels. These are some other shapes from the same package. So now let's try the curly toe sticker, which is more difficult to handle, but look what Elizabeth did. Here, using 100% cotton for the curly toe sticker. And following the same procedure as the first sticker,
curly toe is itself the challenge and it does take a little extra time. And again for the fun part, decorating. For this stocking Elizabeth used squiggly nail stickers, organza ribbon, narrow silk ribbon and pale pink loopy trim. This process with the silk ribbon is called ruching. To ruche the silk ribbon, grab a thread from the center of the silk and gently pull and gather it along its length, thus forming a ruche. Initially, Elizabeth was going to use the ruched silk along the top edge and then changed her mind to make a rose shape instead. I love it. FYI, if you are using self-adhesive nail stickers, they will need to be glued onto the cloth with fabric high tech or they will dry out and will lift off the fabric. She continued by gluing cording to the outline of the sock, then made a cuff of pink organza and glued the loopy pink trim to the bottom edge. She trimmed the top edge of the stocking with more cording, tied a pink bow to the corner and use the darker pink ruched ribbon as roses with two leaves under it. For a bit of glitz, gold nail decals were used as embroidery on the toe and heel and on the organza cuff. Note, the tiny package is a foil wrapped flat bead using pink metallic nail tape as the ribbon. The snowman and red candy cane is a polymer nail decal. The green candy cane was made from a paper clip which was featured on a blog a number of years ago. Paper clip was from local dollar store. You used to see them in green and red. This is how to cut them. Trim both ends to the length you want. Then bend the rounded end in slightly using a pair of pliers. You'll get three candy canes from one paper clip. Here you see some repurposed resin Christmas earrings, which Elizabeth recently found at the thrift store. Lipped off their posts and used them to fill some of the Christmas sticker stockings, as already seen. To enter for the giveaway, like and follow this channel, comment below, and I'll enter your name for a stocking kit which will include the form, fabric, trimming and decorations. You can pick 
your choice of number one or two or three or four. There is only one winner, but there will be many other items included in the giveaway. Always a surprise. And in this case, since it is a Christmas theme, it'll be items to do with Christmas. I had fun sharing this little project with you. For more tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.